Hey guys, Foster here. Just a quick note before we get started today. We are doing something very, very cool in 2020. So this year we are going to do 12 language challenges in 12 months. So on the first day of each month, we will start a new language challenge and each challenge will focus on a specific topic or subject to help you really, really improve your English. For example, we are going to have a challenge about phrasal verbs, a challenge about how to use prepositions, a challenge about how to learn grammar without using textbooks. Anyway, it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun, and we would love to have you participate. So if you are serious about your English, you should really check out these challenges to learn more and start improving your English today. Just visit inglesnuicru.com. Okay, on with the show. Bom, gente, se vocês já não sabem, o Cambly continua com a nossa, nossa parceria, o nosso amor. E você pode ir lá no Cambly.com ou no, no aplicativo do Cambly <risos> e colocar em minutos grátis inglês no micro podcast. Mas o que, que é isso, Alexia? É a primeira vez que eu estou escutando vocês, não faço ideia. Sim, então, Cambly é o nosso parceiro, né? E é uma plataforma de inglês online que você pode encontrar professores 24 horas por dia por lá. Ou seja... Se você estiver aí de bobeira, são, sei lá, oito e meia da noite e você não tá afim mais de ver série, já cansou dessa história, é, não, não sabe, tá afim de falar com uma pessoa de algum lugar do mundo, vai lá no Cambly.com, no aplicativo do Cambly e vai treinar seu inglês. Vai fazer uma coisa boa pra você e pra sua segunda ou terceira língua, que eu não sei se você aprendeu inglês antes ou depois de espanhol ou francês ou coisa parecida, né? Então, é isso. Faz o seu login, coloca o seu e-mail. Não precisa colocar cartão de crédito, nada, 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 nada. E coloca aí minutos grátis em inglês de necropodcast. Escolhe um professor e seja feliz. <risos> então, é isso. Se você quiser falar com alguém, fazer aula de conversação, fazer aula mais filtrada para sua área de interesse, o Cambly oferece de estudo, tá bom? Então, é isso. Now... On with the show. Hello, hello, hey, sweet people, and welcome to another episode of English Nukru Haju. Today, I am actually with the one, the only, Alexia. Yay! Hello. How are you, Foster? I'm good. I recorded a few episodes with Felipe. I'm jealous about it, just <laughs> to be clear. No need to be jealous, but I would always start the show. I'm here with the one, the only... <laughs> oh, wait. No, I'm here with Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> so first, Alexia, how are you doing? How are you holding up during lockdown? How are things in Portugal? Well, we are on... A different phase now? Yeah, I would say we're in phase two or whatever. And uh, I think it's phase three already. I don't know. So this means that I am inside the house for two months now. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so let's take a quick breather to talk about grammar. This means I have been in my house for two months. Okay. Remember, we have what we call the past perfect continuous. I have been, you're talking about something that you started in the past, but still continuing till today. Yes. So actually today I went to the supermarket, for example. Yeah. Um, Portugal is reopening little by little with small businesses and small restaurants and some stores as well. But to be honest, I'm not comfortable going out and like, hey, life is good again, because it's not. <laughs> so I'm staying inside and I've been much better about it than I used to. I think I got used to. Yeah. All you had to do was buy a hundred plants <laughs> and now you're a happy girl. Yes. It's a jungle inside. <laughs> What about you? Cool. How are you holding up? 
How am I holding up? Um, not too bad. As we've talked about before, let's see, today we are recording this on May 14th. So it's been like two months for me too. My situation is a little bit easier because I'm at my parents' house. So I have a backyard and I can go run and go on walks in nature. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It sucks. I'm really, really tired of it. But what can you do? Yeah. Just roll it with it. Just roll with it. Yeah. Roll with it. Cool. So, Alexia, today I wanted to talk about something that you have been very interested in recently, and that is a new social media platform. And we're not talking about Facebook, <laughs> not talking about Instagram. No, Facebook is an all only for boomers. So, <laughs> boo, boomers. So, we are talking about. TikTok. Yes, I'm a TikToker now. <laughs> Is that what people call it? I don't know, maybe only Brazilians or I have no idea, but I am a TikToker. Okay. Mm -hmm. So before we get started talking about the platform itself, just a quick pronunciation about the name of the platform, TikTok. So this is not Chikitoki, not anything like that. TikTok. TikTok. Okay, say it with me three times fast. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> Alexia closes her eyes when she's really focusing on pronunciation. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> yeah, so one thing that I would like to start with, there is a, a father, a father and a son who are nowadays very famous on TikTok. And he's from New York. And the way mm -hmm. that he says, like, coffee or even TikTok is very different. And his son yeah. was making fun of him. And I, I, th I thought it was really interesting. Like, coffee. I have no idea how to say it. Coffee. Yeah. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> yeah. So what a lot of, not all New Yorkers, but especially people from Brooklyn, perhaps the Bronx. Um They kind of have that Boston accent where instead of saying things like call, coffee, they're saying coffee, coffee, hey, it's like coffee. A... Uh, there we go, coffee. Get a cup of coffee before the cops come. Yeah. Uh, and TikTok, I don't remember. Maybe it was like Tic Tac, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> TikTok. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of different accents on TikTok. That is something I want to get into. But first, just give us an overview, Alexia, about what is TikTok? Can you compare it to other social media platforms? What do you do on there? Why do you like it? That kind of thing. Okay. So when you showed me the first time, a long, long time ago, I was looking at it and I couldn't find a meaning for it, to be honest. Like a bunch of yeah. young people just dancing in front, in front of the cell phone and trying to compete with each other i was like there there's a lot of competition already in high schools why are they doing this besides <laughs> the rest of high school which is the worst um so i couldn't understand at all yeah a good phrase in this context is i couldn't see the point i couldn't see the point yeah and i don't know if i still can <laughs> <laughs> yeah So just a little backstory. I heard about TikTok on a podcast like maybe six months ago or something. And I showed Alexia because I thought it was really interesting. And we both played around with it for like a night or two and then forgot about it. And now you have gotten back into TikTok and you're officially a TikToker. Yes, I am. So I don't know if it changed because of coronavirus. I have no idea if it's, it has been like that for the past a year or six months. I, I don't know. What I know is that when I scroll, mm -hmm. can I say that? Yeah. When, I, when I'm scrolling, I see a lot of interesting things for me, which are, for example, a girl who's from Oregon and she has a farm with four llamas. I have no idea how to say llama still in English. Okay, <laughs> let's stop real quick. So Lama. first you're talking about 
a girl from Oregon, which is in the Pacific Northwest of the United States, a place that I really want to visit. And we say llama, llama. So with llama, just a normal just L, like, llama. Yeah. Just like llama, yeah. <laughs> so far, llama is um, Mr. Pig, which is a Mr. Pig. pig. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And what I think is more interesting about these people who are there is the way that they produce um, their content. Mm -hmm. It's completely content. 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 It's different than Instagram. For me, with these people, they are more natural than Instagram nowadays, just because they are showing their lives like, hey, Mr. Pig, do you want some food? Ta -da 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 -da. I love you, Mr. Pig. <laughs> And I have four dogs as well. But it's not like I need to do that because of my sponsor. Right. Okay, so imagine you were explaining this to, for example, my mom or dad, who they really don't understand Instagram or Facebook or anything that well. I've been trying to explain to my dad, and he calls it like the dance app. <laughs> okay, so what would you say, imagine you were talking to my dad, and my dad is now on Instagram, and he just follows like funny golf videos. If my dad asks you, how is Instagram different from TikTok or TikTok different from Instagram, how can you explain that to him? You can find as many as funny things as well on TikTok. But okay. As many as? Um, I believe you want to say just as many funny things. Why can't I use as many as? Um, it just doesn't make grammatical sense. So you're trying to say there are as many funny things on TikTok as there are on Instagram? Yeah. Yeah. Or you could just say you can also find funny stuff on TikTok. Yeah. But I, I, I think that these people who are there, they are not famous at all. They became famous because of TikTok. And there is a girl, for example, she's 16 years old. And she dances. The only thing that she da that she does is dance. And per video, she has like five million likes. <laughs> and it's like it's crazy. She she, fifty million people is following her. Are fifty following million people her. are following her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is crazy. You don't see these numbers on Instagram besides like the most famous. Uh, influencer of the world, which is Chiara Ferragni from Italy. It's so crazy. So, so crazy. So I think that this is the new app, social media app for Gen Z and millennials, like the older millennials, you know, like us. We are old already for millennials. Yeah. Okay. So TikTok is probably more directed towards younger audiences. Yeah, But, because you can have okay. fun dancing and competing it with each other and posting your dance. And for example, there are a lot of profiles who are dad and daughter or father and son or like the family itself. And it's really nice to see that they are doing the dance together. And, yeah, or just like the you and lip your dad. sync, yeah, exactly. Or just a lip sync, which is very famous there as well. Okay, so how do you respond to your dad? Dogs and in Mel. Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. Mel is likes his neighbor's dog. <laughs> She is more than welcome to join us on any podcast. Yes. So it does kind of sound to me. Like, oh, yeah, it's similar to Instagram, but it's for younger people and there's a lot of dancing and stuff. Is that a good way to describe it or is that really missing something? No, it's missing something because for me, there is there is a profile of a scientist, like a teacher from some school that I have no idea. And he's always in the lab and showing us like different things that you could do in the lab with water and some gases or something like that. And I never had this experience back in high school and I'm learning with him. Like, <laughs> it's so cool. 
So TikTok, you can dance, you can lip sync, and you can go to chemistry class. And speaking about us, what we do, of course, with languages, there are a lot of people who are really digging into accents and different words for the same language. And it's so interesting to see it. Yeah, you sent me a couple of those accent comparison videos and like an English guy talking to an American guy and using different words. Is that pretty much what's going on with languages? Well, from what I could see, yes. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> there's more. Oh, I have yeah. no idea. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> cool. So can you give a few examples of accounts that you follow and you like. You've already mentioned that there's this girl that lives on a farm in Oregon and she has a friend, Mr. Pig. It's super fun and super cute. I always like when you send me those. Are there other accounts that you like to follow? There is a dog trainer. She's oh, yeah. awesome. She's awesome. She's very awesome. And she teaches what you should, like the basic things that you should do with any dog. And she's not that famous at all. I found her um, by chance. Yeah, you can say that. Um, and there is this father and son from New York that the son makes fun of his father. And there is a daughter and his father and he, her father. It looks like he was from... Circus from the circus, yes, because he has those big balls that he can walk on top of it, and he's always jumping on things <laughs> like trapezio. And I have no idea how to say that. And trapeze, he's, yes, and he's extremely young. So, his daughter and my dad looks at him and he's like, This guy is awesome, <laughs> so he's he like an acrobat, yeah. And it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And I'm really curious, you know, who's famous on TikTok because I already know how Instagram works and I don't know yet how TikTok works. But I know that TikTok took like, I don't know, 10 people to a huge mansion, I think in California just before Corona. To and a put huge mansion? mansion? Yeah. Mansion. And, they, and TikTok put the most famous ones from, I think only from um, the United States there. Right. And they were dancing and having fun together and posting. And like each post had 12 million people liking it. And it's so crazy for me. <laughs> yeah, it's really booming right now. Okay, so kind of last line of questioning, Alexia. I've noticed on TikTok, not only with the videos, like you can tell the videos are produced in a different way. They're short, but it's kind of like this real time point of view, like action camera. What's the difference with the way you record videos on TikTok? Like, do they have special tools yeah, compared to just options. recording a video on Instagram? On Instagram, you don't have options like I think that nowadays you can cut, like you're talking and then you can stop and then you can go back. But with TikTok, you can cut, put on effects and you can make it as simple as 15 seconds or more than one minute. And for example, there is one challenge that is called I'm bored in the house, I'm in the house bored. I'm bored in the house, I'm in the barn. And then you say like that. And it's so funny to see because most of people are like, most, most people. people are like sitting down on the sofa and then cuts. He's sitting down on the toilet and then cuts. He's drinking some beer or and then it cuts and go to the computer. And it's so funny to see how people can be so creative. It's amazing. Yeah. So TikTok has a lot of like challenges where people will do the same dance or the same kind of. And bad challenges as well. Pet challenges, for example. You have a song um, about your dog and then you have to 
or about your pet. And then you had to film this song with the 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 beep, like with the beat. Yeah, com um, exatamente. <laughs> Eu estou ficando muito confusa. With the beat. <laughs> with the beat. <laughs> um, perfectly. So at the end, you can do the boop on its nose. <laughs> so you can you see get a the lot beep of with the boop. You can see a lot of pets just looking at their owners, like, "What are you doing, human? I'm just sleeping here. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me?" <laughs> awesome. So TikTok has a lot of fun things. They have challenges. They have different pronunciation analyses. They have pigs on farms. A little something for everyone. Yeah, and just to finish this episode about TikTok for me, the most amazing thing is there is a girl, a 23-year-old girl. A 23-year-old girl? A 23-year-old girl, and she's so smart. So smart. I think she, she is studying arts mm -hmm. and she's from texas and the way that she speaks um, her english and the way that she communicates and her expressions for me it's a it's so so much important for example she's always it's saying so much important than nothing it's so important yeah you just want to say it's so <laughs> important know. You could say it's so much more important than something else, yeah, but in this case, no it's so, okay. it's so important. <laughs> it's so important, and that's it. I'm having fun. I'm learning a lot, and I love to see the pronunciation challenges with American and British people. Awesome. So, everyone, go check out TikTok. We can maybe include some of your favorite accounts in the show notes. And any last recommendations with TikTok? Yeah, go ahead. Don't be ashamed of having another social media because we are here for that. Let's go, millennials. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's a great place to end today. <laughs> we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Muito obrigada por ter escutado mais um episódio aqui do nosso Inglês de Micro Rádio. Vocês sabem que nós fazemos o possível e o impossível para deixar o inglês mais pertinho de vocês, né? E é um prazer imenso que a gente possa estar acompanhando vocês no dia a dia, na rotina e fazer parte da hora do, da cozinha, de faxina, tomar banho, dirigir, o que for. Então eu queria aqui deixar bem claro que se você entrar lá no nosso site inglesdenicru.com você vai poder ver um pouco mais do que a gente oferece de produtos além aqui do nosso podcast querido que a gente ama de paixão então vão lá, vão no nosso site nem né? aquela força pra gente procurem saber mais o que a gente está fazendo e é aquilo né galera cada mês nós temos um challenge novo então eu acho que é a hora de aproveitar então é isso. Um beijo grande e a gente se vê no próximo episódio. Bye!